So it's been over a month now since my stunt day and I'm still recovering from the brain concussion that I got there. I wish I haven't told my family about that. This way I would have near as much of a headache. <laughs> Last summer I did a stunt where I drove that F-150 through two motorhomes. It caused a lot of destruction, lots of mess. The truck survived pretty good. Just minor damages, lots of scratches and bent frame here and there. But it's still drivable, it can still cause a lot of damage. And that's what we're planning to do this summer. Things aren't going always as planned in this kind of business and that's what happened that Saturday. You know, there's a concrete barriers right close to where we line up cars for the stunt and I always look at them and kind of concern that if something happens and I land on them I know it's going to be shitty because they're just concrete things sticking out of, from the ground so, you know, considering speed and height, it, I knew it could do some damage. I think I hit the ramp pretty straight and uh, I left it probably straight too and uh, mind you I destroyed it, the ramp because that's another story anyway. So I left the ramp, hit the van pretty good where the cross was perfectly I think but what happened was, which I didn't know, because the, the front of minivan has an engine transmission so it's all heavier than the other side of it, it actually changed the direction of the truck and it, the truck went left. landed at the worst possible spot it just landed right on that barrier and that's where I hit my, my elbow and my my head smashed on the concrete barrier so that caused a brain concussion and I guess plus I did another stunt the same night and the crash to pass boat race so it's made it worse now what is crash to pass boat race there is the event on the race track it boat calls crash to pass boat race where we basically hook onto the boats and race around the truck and the goal is to hit each other boats where we have the biggest piece is a winner so that's not my objective I'm not there to win I'm there to smash as many boats and cars as possible and that's what I did the car did awesome dodging and rocks it lasted me whole race and then in the very end I decided to do another stunt so the ramp was still there the cars were still lined up just asking for, for another jump so I just jumped it and then and airbags were still intact so I wanted to deploy them so I was really happy people were happy too so those two events were the same night stunt first and the crash spots boat race later the same night all right let's continue watching the stunt
Alex, how are you? Good. Hey, man, all right? The day after the stunt, I felt pretty shitty, but I thought that's because of a hangover. It was my birthday as well as that day after the stunt, so we celebrated almost whole night. So that would explain it. But then two days after, I was still feeling pretty crappy and have a headache and just feel like throwing up. I mean, I knew it's a, it's a brain concussion because I had a couple of them before and I knew the symptoms. And that's no big deal, but my whole family got worried and especially girlfriend and... Oh, every day it's a concussion discussion, you know, articles and examples on other people, how it influences your life and how stupid you get with time and... He was holding his uh, elbow, eh? Yeah. yeah. I want to check that out. He's going to jump it again! Anyway, long story short, I'm not too worried about it. If my families are, but I'm not too concerned. It'll go away like any other ones, and uh, I'm gonna keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. Just try to be safer. So um, truck still runs. F-150 is pretty tough. So I'm gonna do crash to pass boat race in August and then another jump in end of August. And hopefully it'll, it'll turn out to be okay. <laughs>